At 4 a.m., a secret team of the finest physical specimens make their way to Venice Beach. They set up their makeshift gym, and then they wait. Give me ten! Four. Five. How come I'm out here in one county? I can't hear you! What are you doing here? Hey, Hit that wall. Let's go. I'll count the beach in both Madison and Huntington Beaches. Raphael, tell us what's going on. So first, push-ups. Oh, right now. Six, two, two, three. We're not out here to, to degrade people. Uh, we're out here to get people to their goals. The logo and the name Circleworth came to me in a dream. It's so funny because before I called it, you know, it was group personal training because, you know, I was, I was training several people at a time. And then, you know, I, I remember I was, you know, in the middle of the night, I, you know, I, 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 was, I dreamt that I was like literally looking inside of a, looking at a mirror and it was backwards. It was like works, circuit. And the logo. After, you know, during high school, it was sort of like, you know, um, it wasn't the best neighborhood, wasn't the best high school. It was a lot of, you know, gang violence and drugs and, you know, which, you know, I, I you know, I, for me, joining, you know, the uh, Marine Corps right after high school was sort of a way of um, escaping that, that sort of environment. Um, so I joined the Marine Corps. I, you know, it was really my only real option to try to go to college. and. You know, and, and 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 you know, have a better life than you know what we what we were you know what we had. Uh, my whole life has been about proving to myself and others that you know I could do certain things. You know, one of the biggest motivators uh, for me was uh, you know someone telling me that I couldn't do something or I couldn't accomplish something. So. For me, you know, being told that I'll never make it through the Marine Corps, oh, okay, so I did that. After the Marine Corps, I, you know, uh, decided to go to school. I went to Oregon State University and studied exercise physiology. And, um, and uh, you know, I would notice that, you know, I was noticing after the Marine Corps that, you know, my fitness level was sort of like on a decline. So I, you know, I, I decided to sort of take my own personal workout, you know, back to you know the way that we used to train when I was in the Marine Corps and it was you know involved a lot of hit training which you know we're talking you know 15 years ago or something and hit was not a very popular you know thing to do so I started you know I, I would you know you couldn't really do it in the gym because you know waiting for treadmills or waiting for pieces of equipment was pretty much impossible that's where it all began I used to come out here, originally I, I'd come out here and I would just like do my own like workout in this little area. I'd have like obstacles and hurdles and things that I would drag and then people loved seeing it and, or saw results and wanted to join me. But this is where it all began, this is where the HIT interval training began. I think it was at a Jamba Juice at the time. And there was a flyer up for this Optimum Fitness Boot Camp. It was uh, four weeks, three days a week, 5.30 in the morning till, or six in the morning till 7.30. Uh, and I'm like, I'm gonna need something intense to do this. And at that time I was like early in my writing career. So I was like sleeping till noon and getting up this early sounded horrible. Uh, but I needed to do it. So uh, I went, signed up. 
and started meeting in Venice Beach at six in the morning when it was dark. It was miserable. There was a boot camp. There was Raphael and Fatigues and two other Marines who were just mean, angry people at the time, going full on Marine Corps on us. Uh, we had an obstacle course, uh, constantly riding our butts, and then there was like kickboxing and then a long run. Uh, I remember at the end of the first day, I just wanted to die. I hated Raphael. I hated sand. I didn't want to go back. I was exhausted all day, but I had to get up and do it again. So literally it was a day of dread because it was painful because I was so out of shape and running in the sand is horrible. Uh, so after the first week, uh, I survived it. I was like, oh God, seven more weeks. Can I do this? Uh, I kept going back. It didn't get easier at first. It was, I was dreading going. Like my Tuesdays were miserable because I knew I had just finished on Monday and Tuesday was like that day before vacation ends, you know, where it's just like sad, I know I have to go back. Um, but then something around week four, things changed. I had energy, I was waking up without the alarm. Uh, and then around week six, I like saw my abs for the first time. I don't even know if I saw them in like high school. A friend of mine, uh, Wayne Sachs, I think was uh, making fun of me for being fat. I was 30 and I probably wasn't very fat. And he had uh, asked me to do it with him. And that was a big ask because I, I think we started at five o'clock in the morning. I think it was from five to 6.30 a.m. It was always dark. Uh, it was freezing cold. It was on the sand and it was the greatest thing I'd ever done in my life. Let's go all the way down. And it only gets worse from there. End of working out really hard for an hour and a half, he would make us run to the pier and back. And for me, not in the beginning, after a while, he started filling up a backpack full of sand and making me run. And we ran in the thick sand. We didn't run in the water. We didn't run where the sand was compacted. It was intense, but I loved it. I wish it was still available. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ready? Exercise! One, two, three! Here's what these shivering squads of determined recruits subject themselves to. They report to the edge of the Pacific, and for the next two hours they do calisthenics, lift weights, run in the sand, and negotiate an obstacle course. Oh. One, two, Putting them through their paces is a team of no-nonsense drill instructors who are experts at old-fashioned motivation. Did that for a while and it was great. It was a great business. Uh, it was, you know, I had three locations. Uh, in the winters, it would sort of drop off of a cliff because, you know, in Los Angeles, you know, drop it, rain falls out of the sky. And everyone sort of runs for cover. <laughs> So I, you know, so what I decided to do is clean out my garage and put equipment in there and start, you know, doing one-on-one, a lot of one-on-one training, like personal training in my in, in my garage. Uh, you know, for you know, you know, every time it rained, I would go, okay, let's just go in the garage, let's, let's train. You know, didn't have enough room, so I, I I ended up doing two at a time, three at a time, and that's how the whole concept of you know, sort of this circuit training thing started with me. It was like I was training, you know, up to, you know, four clients at a time in my little garage. I had like two treadmills and two bikes and equipment. And, you know, when I realized it was like a year long waiting list for people to train with me in there, and that's when a, sort of another light bulb goes off in my head. I'm like, okay, I need a, this is a real business. I need a, you know, commercial location. And that's when I got the first location on Abbott Kinney. And uh, it was Abbott Kinney before the Abbott Kinney that we know today, which is very you know, high end. It, was, it wasn't high end then, it was pretty rough. Machine, um, so we, hey, you got 10 seconds to go. It's pretty much nonstop. Like the trainers you see in most gyms, Raphael uses circuit training combined with personal attention. But Raphael has no interest in striking up a friendship. He thinks too many trainers are way too chatty. It's more of like a counseling slash personal training session. Here, there's no nonsense. You want to get to your goal, you want to get some results. We're here to do that, period. Ready? 
And go! Raphael trains up to three clients a session. Each one is always doing something different. All right, I want you working. You're doing arm curl. If anybody screws up... Well, then... Are you arm curl? No, get out. Everybody pays. We're getting lazy. Let's do 10 push-ups. Down, everybody. Right now, go. Down! Up! Put your hands up. 14, 15, Nine. 15, 16, 17. After more than an hour of Raphael's abuse... I'm hurting. Reginald Savaye has had about enough. You guys told me it was going to be that difficult. We're hard on them. Yes, we are. Three. But not without a purpose. They're going to be in the best shape of their lives. They're headed there, and they know it.